the damage left behind at a health care facility after a car slammed right into it. Data from hundreds of COVID-19 cases are usually being processed here. Fox 46's Janine Donaldson is live outside that building in West Charlotte. And Janine, you have an update on the driver's condition. That's right. Well, we know at last check that he was taken to the hospital in life threatening condition. But the CEO of this company tells me at last check he was still in critical condition. Right now, there's still just lots left to clean up, but they are working on it and say as long as everyone's safe, that's all right. At approximately 1 a.m., a uh, car came right down on, from Ashley on Tuckasegee lost control, looked like it was speeding, um, and came right through, took out that crepe myrtle, and went right into our building. The driver was rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. The crash, caught on surveillance from several angles, could have been deadly if the building was open. It would have been disastrous. The uh, Just in the area behind that blue tarp, there's uh, approximately five people that work in that area, so it, it took that entire wing of the building out. The devastation made even more clear from inside. Starmount Healthcare Management was just renovated from top to bottom just eight months ago and is used to process several hundred COVID tests taken every day and other test results. Fortunately, it didn't uh, impact things because our facilities crew was out here at one o'clock in the morning and we moved everything to our other building and our makeshift conference room. So our, uh, our resulting and our data entry didn't, didn't miss a beat. The company's CEO tells me the work they do during the pandemic is vital to the community, but his biggest concern was everyone's safety. The gentleman that was doing the disaster relief, he said he'd never seen 30 years of vehicle go through two concrete walls and another internal wall. So it was, it was pretty devastating in there. The CEO wants patients to know that this will not cause any delays in receiving their test results. And although you can see there is still major damage to this building, they are moving next door and that's where they'll be working from. Live in West Charlotte, I'm Janine Donaldson for Fox 46 getting results. Good to see it won't slow them down at all. Janine, thank you.